heard you miss me, baby. Well, I'm back. Ooh, you miss me, baby. So I'm back. <laughs> okay. You know, I do a lot of talking about, um, uh, uh, well, in lately, right? A lot of not being able to tell the crooks from the um, victims, okay? And like I said, I had to sto uh, do this story because I would be remiss if I didn't. Because it's so dang gone crazy. I don't know if any of y'all ex experiencing this in y'all city ever since that uh, the, the Fast and Furious, in my opinion, franchise came out. It's like they lead the masses of sheep into the behavior that they want us to uh, exhibit, right? Okay, so Fast and Furious came out. Now everybody wants to speed through the towns, drive up on the sidewalks, hit and run, whatever the hell that um, reflects reckless driving. Okay? So um, that's a real disturbing phenomenon because, like I said here, we're having a whole bunch of people, a lot of people being hit by cars, on the sidewalk, on the curb, waiting for the light to change. It does not matter. And there's nothing to be done about it. There is something that can be done about it, but there is no will to do anything about it as long as most of these things are happening in the city of Milwaukee. And um, that's what's bothering me. And what's bothering me also is some in some people act like there's a certain expectation like people in Milwaukee like crime. Okay? That's that's a perception. That's a narrative they're trying to paint that since most black people live in Milwaukee or on the north side, then um, their propensity to commit crimes and to live with criminals is really part of their culture. And I beg to differ, okay? So, but still, that narrative is painted. Now, you tell me what could be more hideous, more asinine, more insane than this story that I'm about to present to you guys, okay? And I want you to just listen, because this is what's happening in our city. And this is mostly for us that, you know, those of y'all who listen to me, that's right here, you know, in case um, y'all want to know exactly, well, y'all pretty much know exactly the police ain't doing a damn thing. They The cars are making don't driving donuts and shit. They're in the police to chase them. And it's, I can't believe it. This is right out of a crazy ass movie. Every city in the union, state in the union is gone mad. So listen to this and tell me, do you feel safe on these streets at all? Forget about having a weapon. I'm talking about this type of shit. Has it changed? That's what a longtime Milwaukee alderman says nearly two years after his task force made dozens of recommendations to curb reckless driving. The 35-page report was issued in June of 2020. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson shows you a 24-year-old driver whose record of violations is two pages longer than that. If behavior has consequences... Why y'all gotta, like, I'm on a chase or something? Oh, 24-year-old Dyrell Chapel doesn't seem worried. I can't just give my name and stuff, so I'm hurrying the process. I already gotta go. He has people to see. Him. I gotta get to my mom, so I got a funeral in the morning for my auntie. And live streams the host. Running res in broad day, that's me. When Milwaukee politicians talk about reckless drivers, oh. they literally have no respect for your life. For those who engage in reckless driving. 
Beware. They might as well call him by name. Chaplain? In the last three years alone, police in southeast Wisconsin have stopped him 35 times. That's right. 35 times in just three years. From blowing red lights to rolling through stop signs, cutting off traffic and speeding, lots and lots of speeding. All of it with no plates, no registration, no insurance, and no license. You don't have no idea you have no. that driver's license on you? No, no driver's license? But I take my nose off every single time. Oh, you don't got your ID on you? Uh-huh. Yet every time police stop him. For real, you take over the speed, man, okay? They let him drive away. I mean, you just let him go to continue violating the law. One officer even left him with this. In case you missed it, that was a fist bump. It's so disrespectful to everybody that has lost someone because of someone like that, driving like that. For Tristan Thomas, that someone was his sister. It's been extremely, extremely hard. Police say the man who caused the crash that killed Dwinetta Thomas last month had been driving with a revoked license for five years. So you can imagine what he thinks. My blood was boiling. Of drivers so enamored with their own reckless behavior, <laughs> they record it. You really have no regard for anybody else's life, much less your own. Y'all know the f- going on. We all see her. We know. You're out here thinking you're cool, but you're really not. Something needs to be done about this because we can't wait any longer. Nagel's right. Folks are just plain fed up. Last year, under mounting public pressure, Milwaukee police launched the Traffic Safety Unit, or TSU, and put Captain Jeffrey Sun in charge. This has got to be a full-scale approach to everything. Between March 1st and August 31st last year, TSU officers wrote more than 15,000 speeding tickets. That's four times the same period in 2020 and triple that of 2019, before the pandemic. But Milwaukee Alderman Michael Murphy says tickets alone won't cut it with repeat offenders. Take those tickets, look at them, throw them in the back seat of the car. Thanks very much, they drive off. That's exactly what happens. Chaplin has racked up more than $9,000 in fines from 73 municipal tickets. Almost all of which remain unpaid. It has moved to a whole different level of uh, disrespect. Tyrone Tyrone Dumas wants the city to send a stronger message. Tyrone needs to be a comedian. Lowering the boom. The county's former director of public works spent 10 years helping young drivers get suspended licenses reinstated. But with the recent surge in reckless behavior, his tone has changed. One of my friends told me, he said, man, in your old age, you ain't got me. Consider what happened no, man. Son. I was sick of these fuckers. Yeah, been a on, on 30. When police and sheriff's deputies stopped Chaplin, Eight times in 33 days. I ain't, I ain't running stop sign. Dude, I'm I yield. With my guy. I yield. I'm not here to mess with you, Every time. Stop is a white four hour thing. He was driving the same car, a white Infinity G37. Infinity and beyond. I bet you if you don't have your car for 30 days, you'll think about the fact that. Ooh, there's a consequence. In October, Dumas emailed his old pal Jeffrey Norman the city's new chief of police. He responded. He suggested officers crack down on reckless drivers by taking their cars. And it was one of those, oh yeah, that makes total sense. Police, listen. The chair votes aye. The Milwaukee Fire and Police Commission approved a change in policy. Now we have the option to tow the vehicle. Starting May 1st, officers will be able to tow a reckless driver's car if the vehicle is unregistered and the driver was stopped for endangering public safety, exceeding the speed limit by 25 miles per hour, fleeing from police or racing. Let's do something. I think this is just the start. Exactly. That's a good step. Thomas is concerned that policy is too limited. It's a small step. We yeah, do not small have step. Officers waiting for tolls for hours on end. And Captain Sun says officers will still have discretion. I'm not worried about the plates or insurance or nothing. The officer does have an option, but most officers are going to tow this individual. One member of the Fire and Police Commission warns the new tow policy will have a disparate impact on poor drivers. That's also why I disagree that this is the next step. She was outvoted five to one. Why am I supposed to bleed my heart for you when you were willing to put other people in danger? Danger is written 
all of the Dyroll Chaplin's driving record. 37 pages, man. The question is what it will take to change his behavior before the consequences are irreversible. The police department's new towing policy for reckless drivers takes effect this Sunday. But while Tyrone Dumas was hoping their cars would be taken for 30 days, the police department says there is no time frame set on that policy. In theory, Captain Sun says they could come right here to the city tow lot the same day to get their cars back out. However, the Department of Public Works says those reckless drivers will have to pay for towing and storage, and they'll have to get their cars properly registered before they can get them out. In Milwaukee, Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigates. Brian, thank you. So if you're wondering how we identified this driver as one of Milwaukee's most egregious, reckless drivers, check out our open record podcast tomorrow. Brian will explain just how we found him and how many others there are like Ooh. him. You can find open record wherever you download your favorite podcast or go to fox6now.com and either click on news and scroll to podcasts. I suggest that other cities take on this mantra um, I think it could be a little bit more heavier, have a little bit more meat on it. Um, I don't care if, if it got tags. I don't care about none of that. If they riding through the city the way they've been doing, I think you should just take the vehicle automatically if it don't get crashed. Because that's what's happening nine out of ten of these times. But for anybody that you get the luxury of pulling over and actually having the ability, because all the goddamn dudes seemed like all he was most of them worried about these particular is this them particular cops is meeting their quota. Okay? So he got nine thousand worth of driving like that tickets, like a damn buck wild horse. Nobody's ever arrested him. Nobody's ever put him in jail. And nobody's ever taken his vehicle. Listen, I had to sell my that um, um I had an infinity. I sold a damn car because I didn't want to be driving that damn fast. So they pushing it on purpose. And uh-uh. It is not something that um should be going on in some of these cities that are so old that are still built for the horse and carriage. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's impossible to maneuver through it. But I hope a lot more cities take the lead from this. But I just want them to put a little bit more meat on it. And maybe we may save even more lives. So if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.